Howdy, folks. Live from Big Top Chautauqua, welcome to another episode of Tent Show Radio. Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn. Stay, dine, and relax year-round on the shoreline of Lake Superior in downtown Bayfield. Any traveler, any season, any meal, your view awaits. More info at thebayfieldinn.com. And by the Bayfield Chamber of Commerce, beautiful Bayfield in the Apostle Islands. You can tour sea caves and shop our galleries and stores on the shores of Lake Superior. Info at lodging at bayfield.org. And by the Ashland Chamber of Commerce, Ashland, Wisconsin, the historic mural capital of Wisconsin. For a free brochure of self-guided mural tours, visit ashland.com. And now here's your host of Ten Show Radio, best-selling author, singer, songwriter, Michael Perry. Howdy, folks, and welcome to Tent Show Radio from Lake Superior Big Top Chautauqua. Tonight, we feature historical performances from perennial Big Top favorites, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. And a little later on, I'll let you know why you ought to get in on the ground floor of my Red Hot business plan. Folks, the music you're about to hear emanates from a special space in a special place. The Big Top is just that grand blue and pearl gray striped canvas beauty suitable for a circus, but in this case home to a history of live performance centered on the stage. The big top seats are set directly on the earth, and what a spot of earth it is, high atop a hill overlooking beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin, Lake Superior, and those all-natural water-bound wonders, the Apostle Islands. If you enjoy that vision, if you enjoy what you hear over the course of the next hour, And if you want to see and experience it firsthand, please get to know us at www.bigtop.org. It sounds beautiful up here because it is beautiful up here. You ought to come on up. It is difficult to imagine a band that carries its history as lightly as our musical guests this evening, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. What I mean is, here you have a band responsible for bridging genres for one of the seminal albums of the previous century with Will the Circle Be Unbroken, crackerjack musicians all, and yet show after show they came to the big top and played like it was Saturday night in a barn just down the road. Tonight we draw from two nitty-gritty performances, one on a hot July night in 2005, the other on a hot July night in 2010. Down to earth and playing out of this world, ladies and gentlemen, the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Class so swift, the rain won't lift. Gave up clothes, his rent was froze. Get your mind off winter time. You ain't going nowhere. Do we ride behind? Tomorrow's the day the ride's gonna come. Oh, oh, are we gonna fly? Strap your sail to a tree with roots You ain't going nowhere You ain't ride me high Tomorrow's the day my ride's gonna come Oh, are we gonna fly down in the chair? Play about
California long long time ago it was Johnny McEwen that made us sound a little bit different than every other hippie band out there <laughs> he could play everything back in those days the only guy I knew who could flat pick a guitar fast and play the mandolin and actually he was the only guy I know who owned a mandolin <laughs> but more than anything he can make a five-string banjo talk like you knew it like you were on a first name bass with it ladies and gentlemen from Hollywood California mr. John McEwen <laughs>
McEwen, folks. Like to hear a little more band drum music? Sure you would. So uh, banjo has very few carbohydrates. It's okay. <laughs> um, you know, for years and years, people have been telling us, God bless, you ever stop? <laughs> After all this time, you think you'd know. I know, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, for years, people... <laughs> People have been telling us that uh, bluegrass music had its roots in the British Isles, you know, over there in, uh, you know. England. Yeah, that's it. England. J Japan. In England. Japan, yeah. That's, it. Yeah, that's right, that's right, yeah. Uh, you know, like Ireland stuff came over there, and we said, nah. <laughs> so, Ibby and I just, but year after year, people come out and they go, yeah, you know, my Irish, they brought that bluegrass music over, and we said, no, they didn't. So, Ibby and I decided we'd go and check it out. So, being the musicologists that we are, we decided, well, we'll go on down to the library, you know, and look it up. But before we went to the library, we have this friend that just got back from Jamaica, and uh, we went over to his place. Hey, hey! You get the idea, all right? Jamaica, New York. So we went to, so we go to the, uh, so, so we go to the library and... We were in the library for a long time before we remembered why we went. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that and then Ibby almost got thrown out by the librarian because he thought she looked like, uh, what's her name, uh, Angelina Jolie. And that, that didn't help either. But she did have a tattoo that said Ibby right here. Okay. Moving right along. Um, so, so finally we found this big book and, and sure enough, right there, plain as day, was this song that said, this tune is the missing link between British music and bluegrass, and we'll play for you right now. See, you choose, you just have to judge for yourselves. And red face and a sapphire belly, a racket. 
and listening to this new music. Uh, an old band like us fear cha fears changes and it is, it's real fun to, to, I guess we did four or five songs from the new record tonight. Getting real close to it. But we know doggone well once we play fishing you're gonna get up and leave, so. But we promise we'll do that. How about a big hand for Mr. Bobby Carpenter? Thank you.
I was gonna sing one for you right now. It's called Stand a Little Rain. A dark cloud is coming. Straight for your heart It might get just a little bit crazy, baby I try to tear us apart When the storm blows on see a rainbow we have to stand a little rain everybody wants love to be easy but it's never been that way Skies turn gray when the storm blows over. Only a strong love remains. If we're ever gonna see a rainbow, we have to stand a little rain. Listening to Tent Show Radio. Welcome to Intermission, folks. As I speak to you now, I am fresh into my 56th year. This is relevant because I am coming up short in a project I undertook prior to turning 55. And perhaps you can help. In most cases, I'm not a big birthday observer, but I'd been looking forward to my 55th for a while and had big plans. Big business plans, that is. In fact, I am soliciting investors and having failed to find any, I'm now ready to take your money. The entire project is predicated on the fact that when the sun rose on the anniversary of my birth that 55th year, I became eligible for a wide range of discounts. I'm not sure if we still call them senior discounts, but I am less concerned with the terminology than the economic opportunity. The point is, simply by maintaining a pulse, I earned the right to big savings. Or at least I coulda if I played it right. Now then. While I'm happy to claim a free small drink with my hamburger at your finer dining establishments where they hand the fine dining into your car through a window, my main discount focus is not on myself. Is this because I am selfless? No, it is because I sense an opportunity for leverage. It begins with my wife. 
She is 10 years my junior and therefore unable to take advantage of old person discounts. I view it as my honor and my duty to be that old person, standing beside her in the checkout line at various retail outlets and picking up the tab. She is a paragon of frugality and I hope this will make her love me more, especially since I am prone to leaving my 10% discount socks on the floor. I am also trying to bank a little worth against any decline in other respects. This is just family stuff, though. The real genius of my plan lies beyond heart and hearth. What I have concocted is an app-based discount shopper situation in which anyone ineligible for a senior discount and yet wishing to stretch their dollar will ping me with their location. I will show up to accompany them through the checkout, they get 10% off, then I pocket a percentage of the 10%. You can see the brilliance here. Making money off of other people's money. I expect demand will be high, so naturally the app will have a cloud-based built-in reservation scheduler. This will maximize my availability and therefore my profitability. For an additional point or two, I will make myself available for your entire shopping trip, but you got to push me in that little race car cart. This idea is too good to keep to myself, so I will be entering into a franchise arrangement allowing other 55-plus individuals to license the app. If all goes as planned, the venture capital will come pouring in, the enterprise will achieve unicorn status, and down at the feed mill they will speak of me in hushed tones as a disruptor. So far... Demand has been a little less than I might have hoped. Subscriptions for the beta model are lagging to non-existent. I still await my first angel investor. It wouldn't be the first time my genius has been overlooked. I considered offering a discount to anyone over 55. Then I did the math and realized there's a reason my genius is overlooked. Anyways, while I await overtures from one of the 200 special purpose acquisition companies formed just last week, let's have some more nitty-gritty. Dirt band, that is. Thank you so much. This is another new song. It's about a guy gets run out of town by his bad habits. Oh 
places I'm still welcoming the Tulsa, it ain't one of them. music we sound really good tomorrow night somewhere no, I'm kidding we're gonna, we're gonna play something for you right now uh, this is a song that that we recorded on uh, the will the circle be unbroken volume three a couple years back it's, it's a tune that we learned from one of our favorite old-timey outfits a little band from the west coast called the grateful dead it's called some dark holler Where the sun don't never shine Than to be here alone Just knowing that you're gone As I slowly lose my mind So glory always a freight train Take me farther on down the track Jimmy. 
Jimmy's going to join us on this one. This is a great old bluegrass tune. Huh? It's a song that we recorded back in 1971 on an album called Will the Circle Be Unbroken. Uh, our band was, we all grew up on the West Coast out in Long Beach, California. That's where we got started. And uh, we had an opportunity to go to Nashville, Tennessee in 71 and make a record with our heroes, people like Mother Maybell Carter and Doc Watson, and the great Earl Scruggs. Vassar Clements, amazing people, Roy Acuff, long list of, of really great folks, and we were just really flattered that they even wanted to meet us, much less make a record with us. But uh, one guy that was a big surprise to us was a fellow named Jimmy Martin, the king of bluegrass. Jimmy Martin was one of the most fiery performers we ever saw. Great guy and had a wonderful style of singing and playing and kind of a interesting cat. He looked over at John and he said, John? Pick that banjo solid, John. Let's play this little kiss-off song. It's called My Walking Shoes Don't Fit Me Anymore. Shoes don't fit me anymore. Stay on your side of town. I won't be around. My walking shoes don't fit me anymore. Well, it's a long way from here to over yonder. My feet that getting mighty sore. Ain't coming back. You set my mind to wander. My walking shoes don't fit me anymore. My walking shoes don't fit me anymore. My walking shoes don't fit me anymore Stay on this side of town Honey, I won't be around My walking shoes don't fit me anymore Come on, yeah. Once, but I was crazy My walking shoes don't fit me anymore My walking shoes don't fit me anymore My walking shoes don't fit me anymore Stay on this side of town Honey, I won't be around My walking shoes don't fit me anymore Go!
He talked of life, talked of life. He laughed, clicked his heels, and stepped. Well, he said his name, Bo Jangles, and he danced a lick across the sail. He grabbed his pants and spread his stand, so he jumped so high. Shows and county fairs throughout the South, and he spoke to tears of 15 years. I was dogging him, the travels about when the dog. And honky tonk for drinks and tips. But most of the time I spend behind these county bars. Cause I drink a bit. He shook his head, and as he shook his head, I heard someone ask him. Jeff Anna. Anybody want to go fishing out there tonight? All right, let's cast a line. Lazy yellow moon coming up tonight, shining through the trees. The crickets are singing and the lightning bugs are floating on the breeze. Better get ready. Across the field where the creek turns back by the old stump road I'm gonna take it to a special place that nobody knows Baby, get ready Come on, baby You and me going fishing in the dark Night on our backs and counting the stars Where the cool grass grows
Spring is almost over and the summer's coming The days are getting long I waited all winter for the time to be right Just to take you along Baby, get ready If we sit forever and the fish don't bite We jump in the river and cool ourselves from the heat of the night Baby, get ready Come on, baby I'm coming to get you You and me going fishing in the dark Lying on our backs and counting the stars Where the cool grass grows Fishing in the dark Thank you. I was gonna sing one for you right now It's called Stand a Little Rain Dark cloud is coming It is straight for your heart It might get just a little bit crazy, babe I try to tear us apart
Funding support for Tent Show Radio is provided by the Bayfield Inn. With 21 hotel rooms, over 25 vacation rentals, a lounge, on-site restaurant, and rooftop bar, there's something for you at the Bayfield Inn. More info at thebayfieldinn.com. And we're brought to you by Bayfield County Tourism. Find out how to get in touch with your inner wild at travelbayfieldcounty.com. And by the Cable Chamber of Commerce. Cable, the gateway to Bayfield County, where world-class trails, forests, lakes, and adventure await. Visit cableforfun.com. That's cable, the number four, F-U-N.com. Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. They've put on so many shows at the Big Top, they've earned their own tent flap. Well, folks, that's our show for tonight. Whether you beam it or stream it, we thank you for listening. We're as grateful as a guy whose genius remains undiscovered. We'd love it if you come on up Bayfield Way or down or over or through for a live show one day. Details always available at bigtop.org. And you can visit me anytime at sneezingcow.com. Until next we share the air, remember, where I come from and here at Tent Show Radio, nobody ever says goodbye. They just say, well, I suppose. <laughs>